This week, I gain a mild concussion, oh, yet, pretend to be a fighter pilot, and ride in a piece of history as I take a flight on a 70-year-old Boeing B-29 Super Fortress. I am off to fly on a really, really cool plane today. So I am in Appleton in Wisconsin. There is a little tiny air show thing going on just up the road at a place called Oshkosh, but that's not where we're going today. We're gonna to go somewhere even cooler because I'm off to Appleton International Airport to take a ride on a plane that is very, very old, very, very historic, a little bit like me, very, very big, again, like me, but it's, it's also really, really cool. That's, that's not like me at all. We're off to fly on a Boeing B-29 Super Fortress today plane that was built in World War II. All right, we've made it to Appleton Airport. Right over there is a piece of aviation history. Um, not, not the CRJ, um, that, that, that's, it's historical, but it's not very nice, not very cool. Um, it's the one behind it that we we're interested in. It's the B-29, <sighs> I'm so excited. It wasn't long before I got my first close-up view of an aircraft that's captivated my imagination since I was a young boy and pretty soon I was going to be getting a ride on it. So this is a Boeing B-29 Super Fortress. It's called Doc. It's one of only two that are flying still today. What an incredible piece of machinery this is. This is one of only two that's still left. It was built in 1945 uh, for the American Air Force who flew it in the Pacific Theatre in World War II. Famously, uh, another famous one of these was the Enola Gay, which of course dropped the weapons over Japan back in World War II as well. But this one is another one that they built and it's um, yeah still flying today. One of only two that's left. So I'm going to be taking a ride on it today, and I'm going to be riding just right, just just here in the um, nose, in the bombardier position of the B-29. So um, let's go and get on board and take a ride on this incredible piece of aviation history. There's something about the B-29 that's captivated my imagination for most of my life. This shiny bullet-shaped aircraft that looks like something from the space age, yet in actual fact has been flying for almost 80 years. Up close, it looks even cooler than the dozens of photos I've seen of this aircraft lining the history books. Pretty soon, it was time to get on board and there's no jet bridge to get on the B-29. Instead, you have to climb up a ladder in the nose landing gear. Just getting on board, the plane turned into a mission of its own. Hey, uh, go ahead and hand me your backpack. Yeah. Thank you. Watch your head there. Yeah. No, no jet bridges then, yeah? <laughs> Get you to come back here and I'll put All right, yeah. Just, and then you can. <laughs> God. <laughs> Thank you. One of the first things I wanted to do before we took off was to explore the famous B 29 tunnel. So, the B 29 was the first ever pressurized <laughs> bomber that was ever built and because of that the Bombay doors is sort of right in the middle of the plane which obviously was not pressurized so to keep it pressurized to get between the front and the back of the plane you have to crawl through this tunnel it's a bit claustrophobic and um, yeah it's a good job I've lost some weight if getting on board the plane was a mission, getting through this tunnel was like an episode of the Krypton Factor. Thank you. But no hatch to thank you. No, all the outflow back. Thank you. And then drop a foot onto the. I guess you couldn't be tall doing this job, hey? <laughs> there we go. Well, if you were up here in anger, you were 19 or 20. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Are you ready for one? All right, so this is the back of the B29 now. That's some work out getting through there, that is. Let's see if we can crawl through here as well. We've got a window here. Oh, that's a few and a half, isn't it? Look at that. Wowzers. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, yeah. So right here in the tail of the B29, well, this is where the rear gunner would sit. And again, it's a crawl. Gordon Bennett. Goodness me. 
How did these guys do this every time they flew? Wow. Ow, my head. Oh, that's quite a good view. It's bloody hot in here. There's the um, elevators at the back. The rig on a position here. And there's that view that side. Wow. It's a bit warm at the back here as well. Cracky, especially on a hot day. These guys are flying through the South Pacific in these things. Can you imagine what that was like? Goodness me. Well, let's go back through. It's a bit more cramped than a CRJ. I suppose at least in a CRJ you can stand up. And there's no loo either anywhere on this plane. I'm not going to review a loo. There's no loo to be reviewed. After climbing back through the aircraft, it was almost time to take our seats for our flight in a piece of aviation history. I made my way back forward to the Bombardier position for one of the coolest flights that I've ever taken. I mean, I've ridden on a few cool aeroplanes. I think this might possibly be one of the coolest seats I've ever sat in. Look at this. So this is the Bombardier position, Bombardier, not Bombardier, Bombardier, I can't pronounce, no, never say that word. This is where the bomb operator sat and this is all what he used to use to drop his loan whenever they were over like where they needed to be. So um, yeah, that's his, um, this, is, this is probably the best seat in the house. Pretty soon all the hatches were closed and the crew started to power up the four three and a half thousand horsepower engines. are started we have to wait for them to warm up these things take about five or ten minutes to warm up the oil enough for us to be able to taxi so that's what we're doing right now uh, the b 17 has just gone past this is just you know that's doing other rides as well today but this is just an incredible experience sitting with the engines running as a b17 taxi passed really felt like i was at a wartime airfield about to launch off into battle Thankfully we were just in Wisconsin and the only battle today would be with the thousands of aircraft heading into the Oshkosh Air Show just up the road. After a few minutes of the engines warming up we started our taxi out to the runway as I tried to savour every second. Hello tower, good morning. Stock 72 is uh, holding in Juliet, request runway 21, south departure. 72, runway 2 on at Juliet, maintain via for the south for takeoff. Go for takeoff, that's 72. And with those words ringing through our headsets, we lined up on the runway for what would be one of the most epic takeoffs I've ever done. seemed like forever we finally started to lift off the runway in a climb out that would give an A340 a run for its money. I'm not going to lie, skimming the trees and the rooftops in this behemoth of an aircraft was one of the most fun things I've ever done and sitting in the nose meant I got to savour every second of it. I am airborne from Appleton. Wow, that is the most like, incredible experience taking off it, the picture will have done it no justice look at that view we've got out here just skimming the treetops that <laughs> climb up that was just incredible wow so we are going to take a ride down towards the Oshkosh air show fly over there now and hopefully get a flight right over the top of Oshkosh air show following the lake all the way down so yeah there, there we go the, the leg room's not too bad really you've got quite a lot of leg room here this is the sort of equipment that the old bombardier would have used um, initially when he um, would have sat here and dropped his load or whatever it may have been um, to all these controls here for this. We've got a nice fan which is quite nice keeping us cool. The 
of you cannot be beat. Um, the loo, on the other hand, is I'm just trying to see where I need to where we use the bathroom. I've got a bottle in my back, worst case, but um, I think the loo review might be very short today. And if I, if I do want it, it might get me demonetized as well, so maybe not do that. But um, anyway, we are heading south towards Oshkosh. B29. B29. This is just unbelievable, really. This B29 is one of only two in the whole world that are flying and airworthy. This one's called Dock and it was built in 1945. There's another one called BB as well that's flying. That's operated by the Commemorative Air Force. But this thing is just one of two. It's only been flying for about six years. They rescued it. Um, from the desert, it was just setting rotting in the Mojave Desert, and these guys rescued it and they restored it into a full airworthy condition to make it one of only two in the world. Just the opportunity to fly on such a like incredibly historic aircraft, the things this plane has seen, just amazing, just incredible. The sorts of things that this aircraft has seen, the things it's done, the sorts of people who have sat in this very seat right just here, like where they've been working for hours and hours on it, like 18, 19, 20 year old kids sitting here in this position for hours, doing their jobs, risking their lives really, um, it's just, just incredible. As we headed further south, we got the chance to fly right over the top of the world's busiest air show at Oshkosh, Wisconsin. As we flew over the top, the Super Guppy was taxiing out for departure and a few minutes later we'd fly right past her. South of Oshkosh, we made a 180 degree turn to fly right past Oshkosh again, this time heading north. And there's the Super Guppy climbing out from Oshkosh and flying right past us. I mean, you can't really beat this for a view, can you? Now, we spent a few days at the Oshkosh Air Show and it was absolutely insane. If you're an Avgeek, I'd highly recommend visiting, but we found it incredibly overwhelming due to the sheer scale of it. We're planning to do some of fun this year, though, in Florida, which will hopefully be a little bit smaller. Once we'd passed Oshkosh, it was time to start our descent and fly low over the shores of Lake Winnebago, which once again made me feel like I was flying over exotic shores. This aircraft really does invoke some incredible emotions while you're riding on it. Oh, how cool was that flying over right over the top of Oshkosh? We watched the Super Bowl go out as well. It's really cool as well. Uh, and now we're just sort of heading back up towards Appleton now, heading out over the lake making a bit of a ride to 7C and then we'll be landing down um, in Appleton in a few minutes time. We headed back to Appleton Airport and did a military style approach, flying overhead the runway and then breaking left to start our approach. As we got ready to land, I was sad that my time on the B-29 was already coming to a close, but also excited to see just what landing would be like on this incredible plane. to me was the most incredible flight that I've ever taken. Now Doc flies at air shows all over the USA every summer and they sell every seat on this plane from the Bombardier all the way back to the rear gunner position. Personally I think the Bombardier is the coolest seat in the house but it's also the most expensive. This 30 minute ride was an eye-watering $1500. The other seats start from a few hundred dollars, but with planes like this, I prefer to look at it as an investment in keeping these old aircraft flying and keeping a piece of history alive for future generations. The fact that you get to ride in something as cool as a B-29 is just a nice added extra. So there we go, another type in the logbook, the Boeing B-29 Super Fortress. Who'd have ever thought that you'd be able to just come and get a ride on one of these? Just absolutely incredible. Thanks um, so much to all the guys who are keeping this thing running, by the way. There's only two still flying, this one and Fifi, and every time you fly on one of these things with them, you're helping support, keep these old amazing machines in the skies. Just 
whichever one you end up ever going to visit, go and see it, go and visit it, go and have a look at it, go and take a walk through it when it's on the ground at an air show or just take a flight on it if you can. Everything you do is helping support these guys. They do such an amazing job. Oh, I'm going to um, go back and get, I've got a ride this afternoon on something a little bit less exotic, a Southwest 737. But um, make sure that you um, hit like, share and subscribe on this video if you've enjoyed it. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, in the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.